So, she lives. Where am I? And she speaks. You're in my house. Found you out in the snow a few days ago. A, f a few days? Almost dead. You're half frozen and then feverish. Judging by those cuts, you've been dealing with more than just the bad weather. I... Uh... I ran into some trouble on the other side of that tunnel. By the looks of it, I'd say the trouble ran into you. Where am I? I told you. My house. You're still weak. Rest up and we'll talk more later. No, no. I'm, uh... I'll be, I'll be okay. Suit yourself. And let's talk. You said we're in your house. But how did I get here? I was out... hunting. Came across you in the snow. Buried. You've been out there for hours. Maybe even days. Nearly dead. Wow. Well, um... <laughs> Thank you for finding me. Name is Molly. And don't thank me. <laughs> thank the crow. Crow? Yeah, crow. Or maybe a raven. The bird wouldn't shut up. Led me straight to you. Almost like it was guiding me. So, the power's been out for a while. Yep. Think it'll come back? Well, we're used to the power going on and off out here in Pleasant Valley, so... We're usually prepared for it. Feels like you run this farm on generators for better part of the year. Problem is, now the generators won't start. Or the cars. Tractor. The TV's dead. Radio won't work. Basically, the only thing that works is the old landline and rotary phone. How is that possible? I guess because it's pre-electronics. The old party line from when this farm was originally put in, maybe 60, 70 years ago. I'm not exactly sure how or why it still works, but it does. Well, that's great. Can you call for help? Find out what's going on out there? There's nobody to call. Nobody else lives around here? Nobody who'd help if you asked for it. You carried me here? Drag more like, but yeah. You're pretty far gone. Wasn't sure you'd make it, to be honest. Well, all I remember is the tunnel. And wolves. Being chased and then wandering. No end. Yeah. In the woods. In the dark. You can wander for days until you get so hopelessly lost. There's just no way to get back to where you were. I was in a small town. Milton. Other side of the mountains. Old town. Bad shape since the collapse. Haven't been there in ages. You must have wandered a ways for me to find you where I did. But you're not from there. No. The whole town. Milton. It's... It's gone. I mean... People are gone. Most of them are. It was a fire and... <laughs> Whoa. It's okay. You're all right. Don't get too worked up. You nearly died out there. That does funny things to people. Is this your kitchen? By the time I got you here, there was no way I was carrying you upstairs. So you set up a bed in here? Hours out. This is the warmest room in the house. 
This cook stove is probably keeping us alive. I was in a plane crash in the mountains. That's how I ended up in Milton. I, I got separated from, from a friend. They were in the crash too? Yes. They make it out alive? Well, there, there was a storm. Wolves. I, I got disoriented. We got separated. I, I couldn't, couldn't see him. Him? So you left him out there? And then I ran into trouble. Wolves and... Worse. I'm sure he made it out fine. Yeah? How are you so sure? <laughs> Nothing could break that stubborn skull. But you're worried about him. Yes. And there's something I need from the plane. What is it? Something important. <laughs> I need to find him. I need to get it back. You haven't seen a man pass through here. Nobody that sounds like your guy. But you've seen a man. Like I said, nobody that sounds like your guy. Freezer's empty. You're gonna need energy to heal, which means we need meat. I'll be heading out early to hunt. Okay. You should stay here. Rest up some more. You don't look too good. Thank you. I will. And it's not safe out there, so just stay in the house. Right. I mean it. Stay in the house. You're awake. Thought you were resting. Managed to bag a stag not far from the farm. This will keep us fed for a bit. I heard a kettle whistling. I put it on for tea. So we can have tea and meat. I must be starting to feel better because that actually sounds good. It's amazing what hunger does to the mind. If you're feeling better, you can start answering some questions. Like, what the hell are you really doing out here? <sighs> That's a long story. Well, power's been out for... I've lost track of how long. We got the cold, we got deadly blizzards, we got hungry wolves, we got some tea and meat. We aren't going anywhere. So to be honest, a bit of storytelling be a nice distraction right about now. I'm a doctor. Dr. Astrid Greenwood. Nice to meet you, Dr. Astrid. Like a head colds and babies doctor? More like lab coats and test tubes. A researcher. Oh, okay, so not the useful. Perseverance Mills. I don't get out much, but yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. Well, there's some sick... And the thing I lost in the plank... The thing my friend might have. Right. So what you're saying is a thing you need... That's right. You know what? Yeah? Not your best plan. So the people up north, why are they sick? I'm not entirely sure. You must have some ideas, or... I have some ideas. But you aren't going to tell me what they are. No. I'm not. And the thing your friend in the plane crash has... You aren't going to tell me what it is. Right. Wow. So... Am I? It's better for you to stand. Why? Lots of wolves out there. Trust me, it's for you. I appreciate everything you've done. 
I have to find my friend and... When you're stronger. So... Like I said, it's for your own... So, uh... Husband. It seems like more than one adult lives here. Assumptions can be dangerous. You're a doctor, you should know that. I didn't mean to... You should just mind your own business. But you just got back. I need space. Need to think. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Stay out of my shit. Looks like I'm not the only one with secrets. This place. Am I really trapped in here?
you so long? Uh, hello? Thank God you answered. Molly? Yeah, it's me. Listen up, doctor. Okay. They have me surrounded. They're smart sons of bitches. Wait, who has you surrounded? Are you in trouble? Not who. What? It's those damn wolves. They've cornered me in the barn. It sounds like they're trying to find a way in. But, but wolves don't usually bother people. Don't bother people. Shit, lady, haven't even paying attention. Never mind that. Okay, okay, what can I do? I need you to bring me something from the house. Okay, but you locked me in here, remember? Flower vase. Key to the basement's under it. Look for the gun locker. Grab the rifle rounds. Take the old revolver for protection. Might not stop a wolf, but it'll slow one down. Follow the blizzard line from the house to the barn. Get here quick and we'll figure it out. Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Go straight to the gun locker. Stay out of everything else, got it?
There are the lines to the barn. Molly, I was in your basement. Right. So? I, um, I found the body. Oh, shit. Molly, who, uh, who was it? Just, it's none of your business. I told you to stay out of my shit. Huh. I'm a flyer for a town meeting of some kind. Looks like the town's not too far from here. If Mackenzie did pass through, he might have ended up there.
Come on, little fire. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. to the community hall. Let's hope.
smoke. Maybe that community hall from the flyer. Come in handy. Did you come from the crash site like the others? All the cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire, warm up a bit. Crash site? How did you know about the... The crash site. Don't you remember? Another one suffering from shock, maybe. I crashed, but days ago, I'm far from here. No, no. You crashed yesterday. In the hills. A terrible crashing sound. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. Don't you remember? Listen, I, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Oh, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out where you belong. So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people over the past day or so. What crashed? A passenger airliner. Most of the people who arrived. But judging by the thundering sound, are you sure? You... What is this place? 
This is the old community hall in Tonks. The houses became too cold, and it seemed better to bring everyone than yesterday. How long do you think this weather will last? You're not from around here, are you? <coughs> Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley had a pretty good sense of humor. We get some of the harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But I mean, it's worse than usual? Yes. Another storm blew through about a few... blocked the roads, in and out. But will someone come to check on the town? I don't think so. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its... But... Well... Honestly, I'm not sure. At this time of year, there's always... Things might be different if the power had... <coughs> you seem to... Maybe you can help? I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. That sounds like a good place to... Once you've had a chance to check on them, come back. And we... Let's see what's wrong here. Hmm. I'll see if I can help. This might be serious. <coughs> hmm. I'll see if I can help. I've done what I can. This might be serious. <coughs> Easy. Just gonna see if I can help. Oh, no. 
I've had a look at the survivors. Most are in fairly good condition given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries, or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold. And also, well, there are wolves around, you see. Yes, I've seen them. I think I can find most of what these survivors need. But there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin and soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. No, I don't. This survivor has type 1 diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't get it, they'll eventually go into shock and probably die. Well, then we need to find some. And soon, before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside. I need to remain with the survivors, minister to them. But you, you can go and look for the medicine they need. I will. Any suggestions you have would be very useful. Most of the surrounding houses will be empty, but you may find some of the minor supplies you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash a day, maybe two days ago. So your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage at the crash site. Well, how will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay. You keep an eye on everyone and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for your help. One more thing. Yes? Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. People need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. People here, many of them weren't traveling alone. They're brokenhearted, worried sick about their loved ones, feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are searching the crash site. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the, fragil the fragility of the human. For the ones who... If you can bring them some closure... Yes, it's well known that the mind and body... If you encounter any, any information that would help to identify though that information might be a... Then perhaps they'll... I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help. In turn... Take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm... I'm not religious. Please, keep it. It's not for you. Please, humor me. I... I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. It would bring an old priest. It will be the closest thing to my being... I mean, no disrespect, Father, but... Perhaps in the end...
So far, yeah. But there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? <coughs> you risked your life to come here to help some sick people. I would like to help the crash victims, yes. <sighs> I wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves prowling? I doubt you'll find anyone alive out there. Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, well... I left you a little present. Look, I'm not sure... Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. But if you want to live, check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. Well, okay. Thanks, I guess. Watch out for those wolves. Nobody needs this anymore.
This will come in handy. I think I can use this. anything. this.
stuff will come in handy.
hope nobody needs this anymore.
This will come in handy.
anything right now. Take it.
Anything. I need to find food.
can use this. 